We have the top 10 hottest comics of the week based off of Cover Price's data. This is something we do each week. Cover Prices releases their top 10 hottest comic books of the week on Monday. We have our show on Friday. We like to talk about these top 10 hottest comic books of the week. And Chris takes three books that he finds fascinating from this list and gives a, gives a little bit of a, he dissects it and he gives a reason why and what to expect moving forward with them. So, Chris, with that being said, here are the top 10 hottest comic books of the week. At number 10, we have Vengeance, number one. The first appearance of America Chavez. She is only getting hotter here. Uh, number nine is Green Lantern. Number 20, the first uh, cameo, Jessica Cruz. No face reveal. I believe it's her hand. <laughs> number eight, we have The Boys. Herogasm, number one, first appearance of Social Boy, who will be in season three of The Boys. Number seven, We Live, number one, the Dustin Nguyen uh, 1 in 15 variant. Number 16, we have The Walking Dead Deluxe, number one, Gold Foil. Uh, number five, we have Static, number one. We talked about him earlier uh, in the this episode. First appearance of Static. Uh, number four, we have Justice League, number 50. First appearance of Jessica Cruz as Green Lantern. You see her as a Green Lantern. Number three is Static, number one, the Collector's Edition. Number two is Mad Max, Fury Road, Furiosa. And number one is Ecto Kid. That's right. Chris? Ecto, Ecto Kid. Yeah, hey, big shout out to the Indies this week, man. They were really dominating up there, um, multiple books. I always like to give a, a, a shout out to uh, to indie books. I know Jeff, uh, you've been uh, you've been reading some some hot indies lately, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm super excited about this book. It just came out this week. This is my read of the week. It's Scumbag Number One, Rick Remender, uh, Louis Larosa. Art is absolutely fantastic. The story is just so whacked. I absolutely recommend this to all of you, except for uh, Kid Collector. <laughs> Got to wait a couple I years. Know, there. Kid Collector probably already has it. He's reading. I it know, anyway. right? <laughs> but uh, that that I blow. I, I loved it. I love Louis LaRosa's art. Fantastic. Anyways, but moving on. So our top uh, ten hottest comic books of the week every week. You pick three, Chris. Yeah. Let's just get into yeah. it, shall we? Uh, all right, man. I mean, so much goodness this week. It was uh, tough to pick, but uh, starting off with number three, man. I just I gotta go with Vengeance number one, First America Chavez. Man, is this book just done a thing? First off, there is speculation. We talked about this last week that this character might show up. Uh, in Doctor Strange 2, um, with that, 106% increase in sales. But here is the icebreaker. $770 for a CGC 9.8. Wow. I mean, look, this is blowing my mind. And I always, I always talk about these things about, you know, ebb and flow of the market. We know that there's hype around this. But look, America Chavez has been sneaking she's been sneakily getting hot with, without this type of, uh, of speculation. And I think it goes to say that we are in a very unique time right now where a lot of these newer characters that have been introduced over the last, say, 10 years or so are really starting to pick up for multiple reasons, whether that's because, you know, we have other properties going on, like say with Miles Morales and with the video games and, the, and animated uh, feature films and so forth. Uh, to where it's just we are clinging to a next generation of superheroes, right? So it's much more than just a, you know, a uh, 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 brand spanking new, oh, this character might show up in, in, in a movie type speculation. So although that speculation, of course, is driving this, I, I don't see this book being something that's going to really crash hard on the opposite mm. end of the slope. Um, but it drives me wild because I picked up my copy. I want to say maybe, uh, what what is it? Five years ago, maybe, maybe four years ago, uh, for literally a dollar. And look, this is a near mint. I don't think it's a nine point eight. I could give it a press and clean. I'm going to estimate that, uh, you know, on a good day, it's a nine point six. But I mean, it, it's just it's just crazy to think about how these books get recognized and, and you see this growth. And I say this, this will be my final talking point on this book. There's a, I, I talk about this a lot too. There's a lot of naysayers 
about these modern books. Oh, that's, you know, I'm looking at a $700, 9.8 in this book. I'll never pay that. Yeah, look, I, I, I would never pay that too. Yeah, you probably missed out on, on this book and there may be dip in ebb and flow with this book. I don't think this book is at a point where it's going to hold value, say, like an ultimate Fallout 4. But guess what? If we get this character in, in, in to to show up in any form that's even close to how Miles Morales has shown up and been solidified, if the if the properties that America Chavez shows up in and it gets solidified, that right there is going to push this book right past yeah. up, and it's going to push a nine point eight way past seven hundred and seventy dollars. I see her being a, a Miles Morales type. I don't see her hitting that peak like he has so quickly uh right. only because i mean miles morales is an amazing character i love him but he's a spider-man right and that that goes a long way yeah. he's a brand That's new right. character and i she's great uh female diverse I, I love it i love the direction they're going with her very strong independent um but i you know again i she's not a spider-man She's a new character that's that's blazing her own trail, and I think again, I think I don't think she's I don't think she's going down anytime soon, and we will see her on the whether it be the small screen being the M, it's still in the MCU or the big screen, we are going to see her, no doubt. Right. But anyway, right. and again, you know, you you, you, you gotta you gotta give it to these properties. Uh, End of the Spider Verse was done so well. Uh, you got to give it to the properties, but you also got to give it to the comic books continuing to keep this character stories fresh in the comics. And I've said to your point, Jeff, which is a very good point. I've said that it, it's tough to get fresh characters, yeah, uh, modern, fresh, new characters to, to have longevity, you know? So, uh, but, but look, we're, we're in a changing age. Um, I think this uh, uh, is the time for these types of characters to be done right to where we definitely see uh, the longevity work for them. So it's an exciting time. We are seeing these yep. new characters and, and a diverse set of new characters all over the from all, you know, all walks of life, which is fantastic. But anyways, yeah. moving on to our next. Yeah. Well, all right, number two. This is another, uh, you know, uh, a very uh, uh, interesting similarities here with, with Vengeance number one. Justice League number 50, the first Jessica Cruz as Green Lantern, though. Okay, right? Keep that in mind. Um, I have multiple copies of this book. I have um, the, I also have the, uh, variant the john Ramita jr variant i haven't checked the market on what that one's doing uh these days i'm not too fond of that cover to be quite honest <laughs> but i picked this book because this is another one that just it's i got these books I, I i i i'm almost for certain that i got these books in 50 cents or dollar bins as well matter of fact i know for a fact that i got the john Ramita jr variant in a 50 cent bin from uh, my local shop, Boys of Summer, but I'm pretty sure I received uh, two copies of the standard cover A in those same bins, if not those bins, the dollar bins in that same shop. Same or, or similar situation to America Chavez. You have Jessica Cruz, just her popularity is becoming hotter and hotter. Um, I haven't read too deep into the Green Lantern's run, but what I did read, I thought they, they had something good going on there. Uh, but look, you got to bring in the factor into Jeff's point. You know, you have uh, the Green Lantern um, mantle behind this character where you have like the, the spider mythos and the Spider-Man mantle behind Miles Morales. you got that here with Jessica Cruz. This is a situation where you can easily bring in these different Green Lantern uh, characters and have such positive outlets, just like Jon Stewart even back in the 70s. He already had, you know, a, a main a protagonist, Green Lantern. It worked, and it's working now with Jessica Cruz. 140% increase in sales with 51 copies sold. I mean, that's that's big if you think about it. $235 for a CGC 9.8 still. Um, look, th this book, this book to me, what makes this a little different than, say, the, the Avengers number one, two, is I think this book has a, a much more uh valid long term increase uh for to 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 hold a long term value even if it's not skyrocketing you know up to say like a $700 point 
I, I see this book. I see its slope increasing very slowly over time. Um, and that that's very healthy for a modern book. Yeah, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this is also the first notion or appearance of, th not the appearance, but the first notion that there are three Jokers, too? Yes. So it's kind yes. of like, a, it's got yep. two things going for it, which are, are, right. are going to make it a high value uh, pickup, especially once we see Jessica Cruz in the HBO Max Green Lantern series. That's going to be a big, big deal. All right. So moving on, Chris, to our last book, the last book you wanted to take from this list. What is it? All right. How to get some indie love. And look, I mean, what's special about this book and why I picked it is, is kind of different. It's unique to myself. I have a copy here, but it's not the copy that's hot. And that's the Walking Dead Deluxe number one gold foil variant. Guys, I did not come away with that gold foil variant that's going, uh, it has a fair market value of $75 right now, but it was last week it was going for 180 for a high sale. Wow, that's crazy. But guys, I got myself a copy here of the standard. Uh, I do believe this is the cover A, a really cool cover. But the reason why I picked this, guys, is I just been watched all 10 seasons of The Walking Dead over the last like two and a half weeks. Crazy, don't ask me how I did it, but I did it. I was, I've never been really a zombie fan. Um, and I never got into The Walking Dead, but I was just sitting there, couldn't sleep one night, had Netflix on and said, you know what? I'm just going to start watching this. I watched the first episode and I was hooked and man, I, I went out and I got this copy of the deluxe number one and I went and ordered myself the volume one uh, trade paperback because I just want to start reading it from the get. Let me tell you guys, I know I'm, I'm years behind, but, but the walking dead, man, Hey, what a, what a franchise. And uh, I just, I, I can't wait to open this up and read this too. But I just, what this book is doing shows me that the, I don't, the Walking Dead isn't, uh, isn't going anywhere. Uh, really, that's kind of a, what, it, what it's telling me. There is such a cult following uh, behind this title, behind this franchise. Um, I know that uh, the show is having its final season with the 11th season uh, coming out next year, which is going to be a two-year, 25, I believe 25-episode season. Um, I know there's tons of hot books. I don't know what, what this uh, gold foil uh, is going to do in the long run. You know, I talked about, I think I talked about this really the last couple of weeks where, you know, you see that that initial takeoff with some of these variants and then it dips, but it still hovers to, to a, a nice fair market value. I mean, $75 for a brand new book variant. Yeah. I mean, that that's solid. And uh, look, just The Walking Dead, man so so much for this franchise uh in, in the future yeah absolutely you know the show may be going away the first show that started this right. whole thing but they're gonna have films they're yep. gonna continue on with the the you know the offshoots right the yep. other series that they have going on well i that's not going anywhere and they're gonna be able to incorporate these older characters from the books as well they'll pull them in in some other capacity like daryl was never in the original book they made him for the show i'm sure they'll find ways to pull from other characters from this you know the run, the original run, to bring into the other shows. So Walking Dead's not going anywhere. The popularity of The Walking Dead's not going anywhere. It may not be as hot as it was like five seasons ago where that first issue was through the roof. But again, Walking Dead is not going anywhere. I'm glad you binge watched that, but you'll never get that <laughs> time. Indeed. So anyway, all right. That is our top 10 hottest comic books of the week based off of cover prices data. We'll have a brand new list next week.